With Christmas fast approaching, I want to do at least one more video in the series to round up the topics that we have and kind of close off the year whilst at the same time giving you the warm sense of feeling that you've come to expect. Now, if you like this video, please give us a like, and if you don't, well, you know what to do. So moving quickly on, what we've looked at previously regarding setting up Chocolatey Server can also be applied to our PowerShell series in terms of being able to use Chocolatey uh, Server, in this case, as a PowerShell repository. So if we go ahead and we just simply enter our PowerShell um, commands for adding a repository so instead of setting up a separate nuggety server that you've seen in earlier videos we're going to use the chocolatey server as our nuggety server and basically store our powershell scripts there this allows us to effectively reuse the infrastructure and not have two or more separate things so as you can see, we've gone ahead and we've created this as a repository, and now we're going to upload to it. And to prove that I'm not cheating and that this works as expected, I've left the verbose logging on in order to see the output that you get from the whole running process. And I've not even speeded this up, I've kept it in real time. Now keep in mind, the whole upload process is relatively slow because the files do get converted before they are uploaded so there is that kind of delay so you might say as an example in this case where i'm uploading to the same server and it's only something like 24 meg it seems like a really long time for it to be uploading but keep in mind it's checking the dependencies the packaging and the rest and this is kind of running on cpu and in this case the virtual machine that i'm running it on does have only two cores so it's not the fastest thing but with that said um, we were able to upload the file and again this is in real time so it's not too bad and if we go ahead and check our chocolatey uh, server we can actually see that the package was uploaded it went to the file repository and it even came in with the version information so it was very successful from that point of view now hopefully this made the subject clear, if you didn't let me know, and as always, subscribe and like for more content.